All right, thank you. All right, so these are the joists that we're going to take out. Okay. Now those are actually really robust ones. Those are full two and a half, two and three quarter inches. Uh, so here's the no more normal two. I oh, know that's full. Let's just build a sister on it. Okay. So these are the things that really are the mainstay of the product that we sell in terms of value per unit. Yeah. We've sold hundreds of thousands of dollars of this stuff. The um, the rest of the material, flooring, and uh, up on the roof, instead of flooring, you have roof decking, which can be you know one inch by six to 12 inches wide. That material also has a great life. A lot of this material gets used in restaurants, retail spaces, uh, designer homes, any place where they really want that aesthetic. Uh, this stuff can be planed or processed just to the right degree where it still has its look of patina and antiquity but uh, is finished enough so that it makes a, a great wall finish in a restaurant or a store or a home, a special room in a, in a, in a home. What's the, the big business down on the uh, harbor that brought a whole lot of the world? Oh, you mean uh, Under Armour's? Uh... Not Under Armour, it's another one. Is it Exelon? Oh, Exelon. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's, they're, uh, they're, they're... that's right, we can tell you about that now. Yeah. We released the NDA on it, but Exelon, who built a new tower, uh, right on the waterfront, bought like $160,000 worth of this wood to do their elevator entrances. And we've got like a huge presence on the trading floor because they're an energy commodities uh, company, they in our exchange. And so um, right on the trading floor, two stories of 20 foot wide columns uh, of reclaimed Baltimore wood. Wow. And, and the beautiful okay. thing about it, they made a commitment to the community when they built that building and when they said they would, they would occupy 